What's up guys, Troy ATXRC uh, Productions here. Uh, coming to you again with Solo. Yeah, this is my technically my wrecked Solo. Um, I will say I did find some damage while I got you right here. Uh, right there. This is why the battery is not fitting in. So you guys check out my other video about how I crashed it. Um, this video is for all you guys getting your solos today. Heck yeah. Uh, here you're getting them from Best Buy. As far as what's going on with Best Buy, I, I don't know. I mean, none of us really know. I mean, I know I've made speculations and uh, kind of some assessments based off of stuff. Um, obviously, Best Buy received their stuff in the last couple of days. I believe it was maybe Thursday because I actually was there Friday and I got batteries. They said they had just come in. So... Uh, I'm thinking just like all the other vendors, uh, they were shipped out. The first 30 were overnighted or two day aired from China um, to the customer direct. All the other ones were apparently and supposedly shipped via 3DR, you know, via rickshaw and boat um, to the vendors. So the vendors should have gotten them Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, maybe Monday, and are going to start turning around and shipping them. Um, so apparently Best Buy has them available in the store today. Um, cool. Great. Um, the coupon thing, I don't know. People are saying, I personally think they're not supposed to be using the coupons. I think in the end, Best Buy is actually uh, just not knowing what they're doing. It's a $1,000 purchase. They're trying to satisfy everybody, so I think they're keying them in. But um, whatever, man. I got mine, and yes, I flew it um, six, seven, eight times, um, and I did have a crash, so you guys watch that video. But today is here for you guys. So I got some quick tips. First, um, you need to know how to properly start solo up every time. Your proper startup is solo controller app. Solo controller app. That all being said, before you go out, there's a few things I want you to do. Register your solo. I know it sounds stupid, but just do it. That way if you have a problem and you try to do a field ticket, it automatically goes through and you don't have to worry about having 3G service or anything to get your product registered. Two, we do your original download of the software at home. Do a quick calibration because you will need to calibrate it on its axis, on the side, left, front, back, and upside down. Um, you'll, and you need to do that on a level surface. Um, do all that at home. And then before you go out and start doing smart shots, go out and just fly it in its basic out-the-box setting. Fly an entire pack, just playing with, trying to figure it out, and learn the stick and the 50 take off and land take off and land learn how to shut the motors off these are all really important things guys the motors don't just shut off once you land by holding down which you can do you can hold straight down and it'll come and it'll ni nice and land on its own pretty much and then if you let off as soon as it lands it'll spool back up and start to take off it's very dangerous for people especially observers kids people that are with you while you're flying they all like to run up to it as soon as it lands and the props start to shut off if they're used to say a nasa system that when it lands it cuts off pretty much automatic after a few seconds this could easily take back off if you let off that stick it takes back off um so be careful hold down for three seconds after it lands listen for the tones um there is the automatic cutoff holding the fire button um so learn how to shut the motors off and how to land um, practice just letting it take off and land and practice with just, you know, again, flying around. I know a whole battery is a lot, so go ahead and mess with performance tuning. Go into the settings um, on the app, and then at the very top it says solo. Click on solo, and it takes you to performance settings and all that. Start messing with the settings. Another thing, before you get out in the field, before you take it out, you would like you need to remap on your controller. I highly suggest remapping A as stabilize mode. Stabilize mode is basically your ATTI semi-manual mode. Um, it's a stabilized manual mode. You want that on A. Why? Just in case. My crash yesterday, I don't think I would have had time to go into stabilize because you have to hold it too. Um, I, I probably could have paused if in the grand scheme of things, looking back and doing it again, I probably would be able to hit pause and stop it. Um, so another thing, get used to your pause button. Practice it, guys. I said it last night. Just like if you got guns and you practice reloading clips and cocking, same thing. Practice, oh, fail, duh. Just tell yourself, fail, duh. Fail, pause, fail, pause, fail, pause. Whatever you got to tell yourself, just practice, just go in there. Just go in there. Um, that's just 
my suggestion because that pause button is a great tool. Um, besides that, guys, go out and have fun. Um, a few notes on my app crashes, just so you know. I'm using an iPad Mini 2 Retina. Um, I The only app crash I had that I remember specifically repeating itself is the Orbit app crash, which is kind of funny that that's how I crashed. So um, the Orbit app crash, for some reason, when you set the second point, it wants to, it snaps the map away. I highly suggest don't try to re-snap the map. At that point, you're locked in and set. Go ahead and try to fly it. Um, if you really need that map again, it's, it, I feel like it's going to, I think it crashes pretty much every time when you try to re-swipe. Um, the app pulls right back up, but if you pull that app back up, I would personally reset any smart shot that you have. Why? Because I didn't, and my orbit halfway through, it turned around the other way, and then out of nowhere, just ran into the side of a wall. So um, we're still looking into that. 3D is into it, so don't worry about it, guys. Go out, have fun, fly safe, fly smart. Um, antennas, by the way, your manuals will say antennas are to be 20 degrees towards the up position i know the lighting is not great that is incorrect now 3dr has changed that and altered their manual they want them down like so 20 degrees locked in okay uh there's a weak signal point at the tip of the uh, of the antenna there is apparently one at the backside too but and there's arguments about both ways but this is the new way that they have stated they want them so uh, down guys down boy um yeah so you guys just go out there have fun um stay safe fly smart look at your surroundings man i'm telling you this thing it, it it's easy to fly but it brings in a whole nother root set of parameters and a whole nother set of judgments that you got to get into and start thinking about um i think a lot of people are going to really look up today and really understand that this is a tool for the future of videography in the drone community um it, it, there's so much guys I'm very excited that people are going to start getting these things let's start putting more videos up uh, go to my YouTube channel, the new one uh, 3DR Solo Productions we've also got a Facebook group for all of those productions for video and photography it must be video or photography related footage or productions or questions we're not going to get into bickering or fighting or talking about the latest products um, if they relate to what we're trying to accomplish which is great video production and videography or photography great let's discuss it but if it doesn't and you're asked to stop talking about it let's just stop talking about it. um so anyways uh that's on facebook facebook uh check it out 3dr so 3d robotics solo uh production and videography photography and videography productions uh group uh, and then the channel is on youtube just search it 3d robotics uh solo production channel production channel you'll see all my videos from solo are going to get linked over there um, I'm trying to build that following up so we have a specific channel for it, guys. Uh, ATXRC Productions, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. ATX uh, Drone Services, up and coming here in ATX, the Austin, Texas, uh, for all your drone service needs, building, flying, teaching. Yes, I know I've wrecked a few quads, but you got to learn to wreck them before you can learn to teach how to fly. Um, purchasing, real estate, photo, whatever you need, man, we'll try to help you out um, or we'll point you in the right direction. So if you guys offer services, it's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to do all the work myself, guys. I'm trying to just spread the love. I'm trying to help people find people that help people find people that help people find people that help people do things. So let's do it. Uh, get your solos out there, man. I wish I could go fly. I want to so bad. Uh, I'm going to take Ike out, though. Uh, by the way, I've got an appointment. I'm going to 3DR Monday morning at 10, no, 11 a.m. to drop this off. Scott, thank you. Scott Horn, Scenography, uh, uh uh, send a pilot for 3DR. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's going to look into this for me. He's going to button it all up and get it taken care of. Um, thanks again, guys. Y'all have a great day. Uh, fly safe, fly smart, fly hard, fly high. Just do it, man. Have fun. Peace.